Welcome back to Pinoy Gaijin Travels. This is the continuation of my 15 days Kyushu trip on my 7th prefecture, Oita. In this episode, I dive in into the world renowned place or hot spring town of Beppu. This is where nature meets relaxation and excitement awaits around every corner. Join me and find out. Oh, it's Oita! After Miyazaki, I continued my Kyushu trip to Oita. I took the express train that will take me to Oita, which takes about 3 hours, then hop in into another train that will take me to Beppo Station, where I'll be staying for 2 nights. Finally, we reached Beppu. This will be my home base for two nights. I cannot wait to explore this onsen town and see what it can offer. I will be staying in this hotel, Beppu Daichi Hotel. I had a separate video sharing my hotel review, please check on the link above. I deposited my luggage successfully. Now I'm famished. Time to look for a local restaurant around Beppu Station. A peculiar statue of an old man at Beppu Station shows up. I came to know he is Aburaya Kumahachi the father of tourism in Beppo. He is the key person that makes Beppo Onsen renowned to the world. I was looking for Oita original dish and I end up at Bungu Chaya Beppo. I got the Bungu set where I got two specialty dish of Oita, Toritan which is the tempura style fried chicken and Dangujiro or dumpling soup. The serving was reasonable and the food is great. After that hearty meal, now I'm ready to explore Oita. My first itinerary is Takasakiyama Natural Zoological Garden or known as the Monkey Park. The journey takes about 20 minutes. Just arrived at Takasakiyama bus stop. From here, it will be another 7 minutes walk to the monkey park.
はい、あないないFinally, some cute Japanese macaque monkeys had showed up. Despite being in a park, these monkeys are essentially wild. They roam freely and are not caged or confined. The park is home to some of the world's largest troops of Japanese macaques, with around 1,500 monkeys. Visitors can incredibly close to the monkeys as they go about their daily lives, feeding, playing, and grooming. There is some sort of a show happening. During my visit, of course, with the participation of the monkeys. Let's see. That was funny act courtesy by the monkeys. I really had enjoyed the show. My close encounter with the monkeys here helped me realize that we should help to keep their habitat intact and must continuously do conservation efforts to protect them and the whole ecosystem. After a thrilling encounter with the monkeys, it's time to unwind at Takigawara Onsen, immerse yourself in the soothing hot spring. 
and let the stress melt away. This is the perfect place to rejuvenate your body and soul. This onsen place have two options, the regular water onsen and sand bath. Since I already experienced sand one in Kagoshima, I opted for the water soak. The onsen looks old and can be traced back to the Edo period. That's why this onsen is very popular. I'm really honored to experience it here. The onsen experience would not be complete if you did not finish it with milk. I felt so refreshed and invigorated after onsen. Now I'm ready for the next itinerary. Beppo Tower, let's go! Let's ascend to the new heights at Beppo Tower. Enjoy breathtaking panoramic views of the city and the surrounding countryside. Wow, the sea view is amazing, but the seashore view is actually looks more stunning to look at. Upon looking at Motogahama Beach from Beppo Tower, I can't help not to see it more up close. Hence, here I am. That was the last itinerary for the day, heading back to the hotel to check in and refresh. That sums up for our day one here in Oita. On day 2, my Oite adventure would not be complete without exploring the iconic Seven Hells of Beppu, witnessing the power of nature as we marvel at the colorful hot springs and bubbling mud pools. Ikimasho! First stop is Shira Ike Jikoku, cold as the white pond. I bought the Beppu Hells tour ticket here, which enables me to access the seven hells. Shira Ike Jigoku literally means white pond hell. It features a stunning pool of milky white hot spring water. The water initially clear when it erupts from the earth, transforms into a pale blue white hue as it cools and mixes with minerals. This ethereal color combined with the surrounding lush greenery creates a picturesque scene. Next stop is Oniyama Jigoku, a hellish encounter with crocodiles. Oniyama Jigoku, often translated as Devil's Mountain Hell, is unique and surprising attraction within the famous Beppu Hell Tour. 
This otherworldly landscape is not characterized by fairy pits or demonic figures, but a rather unexpected inhabitant, the crocodiles. Averaging the region's natural hot springs, Oniyama Jikuku has been breeding crocodiles since 1923. These prehistoric reptiles bask in the warm, humid environment, creating a truly bizarre juxtaposition of nature and human ingenuity. Visitors can observe these fascinating creatures up close, gaining a unique perspective on these often feared predators. I'm up for a challenge to complete the Stumps of the Seven Hells tour. This is the second one at Oniyama. The third stop, Kamadu Jikuku, also known as the Cooking Pot Hell, is a geothermal wonder named after the ancient practice of cooking rice using the intense heat emitted from the area. Despite its intimidating name, Kamadu Jikuku is a fascinating and visually striking attraction. It features a variety of boiling hot springs, each with its own unique color and characteristic, from vibrant blue pools to bubbling mud pots. The site offers a glimpse into the Earth's raw power. I took a quick break and got some snacks and refreshments. Here in Kamado Jiguku, visitors can also experience the intense heat firsthand by enjoying a foot bath or called as Ashiyu. I joined the fray and enjoyed the foot bath myself. Ooh, it feels so good. Time to get my third stamp. Yosh. Moving to the fourth stop, Unishibuzu Jiguku, a name that evokes images of demonic monks, is one of the many captivating hellscapes found in Beppu. Described as a sea of boiling mud, Unishibuzu Jiguku is a mesmerizing cauldron of bubbling gray mud punctuated by occasional bursts of steam. The otherworldly landscape, coupled with the eerie silence broken only by the soft gurgling of the mud, creates a truly haunting atmosphere.
There is another free foot bath here in this Jiguku, but I skipped it. Time to get my fourth stamp. Okay, let's move to the fifth stop, Umi Jiguku, or known as Sihau. It is one of the most captivating stops of the famous Beppu Jiguku Meguri Tour. Despite the ominous name, this natural wonder is a stunning display of the Earth's power and beauty. As you enter the place, a beautiful manicured garden and a lush scenery gives that striking contrast to the hellish spectacle. Characterized by its mesmerizing cobalt blue waters, Umi Jiguku is a hot spring created by the eruption of Mount Tsuru Midake over 1,200 years ago. The intense blue hue is a result of a high iron sulfate content, creating a surreal and otherworldly atmosphere. While the water's temperature reaches a scorching 9 to 8 degrees Celsius, making it unsuitable for bathing, it's perfect for cooking local delicacies. Visitors can enjoy the unique experience of trying eggs or pudding boiled in the hell's waters. Another interesting spot here are the red Tori gates lining up from Umi Jiguku leading to the hill which gives that striking contrast. They never run out a free foot bath here. Give it a try when you can. Time for my fifth stone. Yosh! From Kanawa, I took a bus to visit the last two Jiguku. In my sixth stop, Chino Ike Jiguku, or Blood Pond Hell. Another interesting spot out of the Seven Hells Tour. The striking crimson hue of the pond is caused by iron oxide, creating a surreal and almost alien landscape. Despite its intimidating name, Chino Ike Jiguku is a popular tourist destination. Visitors can marvel at the vibrant red waters learn about the geological processes that created this unique phenomenon, and even enjoy a foot bath in a nearby area. Time for my sixth temp. I'm down to the last one. Alright, for the final stop of this Beppu Hell Tour is Tatsumaki Jiguku or Tornado Hell. Unlike its fiery name, Tatsumaki Jiguku is a geyser rather than a fear pit. 
every 30 to 40 minutes, this extraordinary natural wonder erupts, shooting a powerful jet of boiling hot water and steam high into the air. The sight is both mesmerizing and intimidating, a raw display of the Earth's power. While the full force of the eruption is contained by a protective roof, the spectacle is still awe-inspiring. Finally, I completed the 7 Hell's Tour Stamp Challenge. It's kind of rewarding visiting all of them in a day. As a treat to myself for completing the 7 Hell's Tours, I went to a nice local restaurant called Maya Kashia, where I tried to return or tempura style fried chicken and ryukyu rice ball. Ryukyu is a famous local oita dish made of raw fish seasoned with soy sauce, sake, mirin, sprinkled with sesame seeds and garnished with spring onions. Totally a delectable meal not to miss here in Oita. I rewarded myself with a nice sake to cap my Oita trip leg of my 15 day Skusha trip. That sums up my oh it's Oita trip. I hope you had enjoyed it as I do. And the next day, I'll travel over to Kita Kyushu, heading back to Fukuoka for Fracture to complete my journey. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for updates. Thanks for watching and safe travels.